welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. So today's video is gonna be slightly weird. Now, I've done a few weird videos on this channel, but this could be one of the most weird ones that I've done. So basically in today's video, I am gonna be taking the challenge of applying a full face of makeup using no makeup but food, and I'm gonna turn that into using food to actually apply my normal makeup. So instead of brushes, instead of beauty blenders, I'm just gonna be using food items. <laughs> oh, why am I doing this to myself? I have no idea how this is gonna go down. This video is not serious, if you guys couldn't tell. It's just a bit of fun, just a little challenge I wanted to do. If you guys enjoy watching me apply makeup with a bunch of food, then give this video a huge thumbs up. And also subscribe if you haven't already because I would love to have you here. Come and join the dinosaur family. But without further ado, let's get on with this video and let's smear a bunch of food on my face. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be using to apply my foundation is fairy cakes. So I actually originally wanted to use a Victoria sponge cake because it's like a sponge. Do you guys get it? Like a beauty sponge? But I thought no, that's just really wasteful. So I actually bought a pack of 12 fairy cakes. I'm gonna eat the rest, don't you worry. But I will be using one of them to apply my foundation. Mmm. That is good. If only your beauty blender was edible, that would be pretty good. But back into the video, let's actually apply my foundation with this fairy cake. This is just a recipe for disaster, let's be honest. I'm gonna apply a little bit of foundation onto the fairy cake. This is so wrong. I hope I don't get like weird cake residue on my face. Okay, let's go. Oh God. <laughs> this is not a good start already. You could be like starting new Instagram trends. Instead of using a beauty blender, you can use a fairy cake. <laughs> can you imagine? I feel like I picked a pretty good item to apply my foundation with. Because I feel like this will be able to blend out my makeup quite well. And it smells good. And it's edible, so. Win-win. Okay, so so far it's kind of leaving like the texture of the cake on my skin. But... I thought it would be worse, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of difficult to get into like these areas of my face where like I can't really get in. So I'm just gonna have to like take the cake out of the actual packaging. <laughs> oh no, it's like crumbling in my hand. Dude, I actually, I'm not even gonna lie. That's blended in my foundation pretty well. This is the new silly sponge. The fairy sponge. It's like cr- <laughs> I've got a bit of fairy cake on my face now. Guys, this is the foundation. <laughs> that is actually a pretty good job. Okay, so next up is of course contour. So for contouring, I'm gonna be using a banana. <laughs> yep, a banana. So what I thought to do is basically use the banana as like a guideline perhaps for the contour and use a cream contour stick, which is the Maybelline one. And I'm gonna blend this in with another food item. Oh my God, I've just remembered that I actually bought some eggs specifically for this video, because I don't actually eat eggs very often. Um, and I was gonna actually use a hard boiled egg to blend my foundation out with, because it'd almost be like a beauty blender, and I completely forgot about it, so I just used the fairy sponge. Either way, that's probably for the best anyways, because uh, my face would have smelt like an egg. So to blend out the guideline of the banana, I'm actually gonna be using a broccoli. <laughs> the reason why I chose a broccoli is because I felt like, again, it's quite a spongy texture. <laughs> Oh, I don't think this is gonna work, but let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna break off one of the little broccoli thingies, and this is gonna be my beauty blender. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my contour onto the banana. This is not gonna be very easy, I do not think. Okay, I feel like that is enough product, so I'm just gonna press this onto my cheekbone. <gasps> yes, it works! <laughs> this is definitely the weirdest thing I've ever done with food. And then I'm gonna repeat the same thing to the other side. Bam, look at that contour. And now that my contour is in place, 
we can now blend this bad boy out with some broccoli as you do very casual just another day in the office yo that's actually doing quite a good job oh my god this is actually insane i'm never using a beauty blender again i'm just gonna be using this broccoli forever <laughs> oh it smells so good i absolutely love broccoli fun fact broccoli is actually my favorite vegetable ever oh my god i have actually contoured my face successfully with a broccoli can we just? <laughs> okay, so now moving on to blush, I'm actually gonna be using a peach. The reason why I chose a peach to apply my blush is because it's very soft and it has like a fuzzy, peachy kind of texture and I feel like it'll just be quite good to apply blush. And to go with the theme, I'm gonna be using the Coralista blush from my Little Benefit set. There we go. And I'm just gonna blend that in, into my cheek. So far, so good. Oh my God, I can't believe this. It's actually blending out so easy. What the hell? I'm also gonna be using that same peach to apply my highlight. So the one I'm using is from Tarte and this is called the Exposed Amazonian Clay Highlighter. So again, I'm just gonna dab my peach into the product. Um, by the way, I've washed everything before I started this video. So don't think like it's unsanitary or anything because I washed everything. <laughs> okay, so it's on my peach. I'm now just gonna apply this to my cheekbone. It's really weird to say, but using a peach to apply anything on your face actually feels surprisingly nice because it's like quite bouncy and soft. Okay, even though everything was going super well and up to this point my makeup looks actually presentable, I'm pretty sure it's all gonna go downhill now because <laughs> I'm gonna be using an asparagus as a blending brush to apply my eyeshadow. <laughs> this is just not gonna go well. This just feels so wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking this brown eyeshadow here on my asparagus. This is gonna go so wrong. Oh my God. It's made it really pigmented because it's a little bit wet. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I told you, I told you guys, this was going well up until this point. Look at that fallout. Oh no! It's not looking that bad. It could look worse. I'm literally rubbing an asparagus on my eye. I feel like this video has given vegetarians a whole new meaning. <laughs> I'm gonna do the bottom lash line and hope to God that I don't poke myself in the eye. Okay, so I'm now gonna take this gold eyeshadow, which is actually a highlighter, and again on the same brush, I'm just gonna be picking that up on the brush, on the same asparagus rather, I'm gonna be picking that up. I'm gonna be applying this to the very center of my lid. Cheeky inner corner highlight, cause why not? Okay, so my eyeshadow is actually not too bad. I'm now gonna move on to the eyeliner and this is definitely where it's gonna go wrong. Don't you worry guys, you are gonna see me fail in this video at some point and this is probably the stage where this is gonna happen. I'm gonna be using a snap pea, a sugar snaps, a snap pea, is that what they're called? A snap pea, and I'm gonna be using this to apply my eyeliner and also my brows, so let's see how that goes. So the reason why I picked a sugar snap to apply my eyeliner is because it's actually quite sharp on the end and I feel like I'll be able to get quite a precise wing with it. <laughs> my wing liner on there. Now let's see if this works. Oh my God. <laughs> How is this working? Oh, and it's dry. <laughs> Gotta apply some more because it dries pretty quick with this one. I'm not really good at doing my other eyeliner on this eye as it is, so this is gonna be quite interesting trying to apply it with a snap pee. I feel like that eye came out even better. What the heck? By no means is it nice that I would actually feel like, oh yeah, that's like a good eyeliner, but I feel like that's okay. Like I would actually go out with this eyeliner right now. So the only makeup product I actually can't substitute with a food product is mascara. Let me know down below if you guys have any suggestions what I could have applied mascara with because I couldn't find anything that I would have thought would be suitable enough. So I'm literally just gonna apply mascara 
with the original wand. So guys, my eye makeup is now finished and I'm actually so pleasantly surprised with how it turned out. I literally cannot believe it. But I'm now gonna move on to my eyebrows and for this I'm also gonna be using a snap pee. Um, so I'm gonna be using my Anastasia dip pomade and literally just dipping the snap pee right in there. Oh my god, this actually works so well. I'm just constantly surprising myself with how well this is working. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now lastly, to finish off this look, I'm going to be applying my lipstick with... Runner Beans. And oh my gosh, I've just realised I so should have used this for my eyeliner. This would have been perfect for my eyeliner. The lipstick I'm going to be using today is my Maybelline lipstick from my Maybelline collection. This is the shade Vivid Vixen. If you guys haven't checked out my like announcement video, I'll leave it down below so you guys can see all of the different lipsticks from my range, which are sold in Superdrug if you guys are interested. And the packaging of this is actually something that I've designed myself, which is really, really cool for me. This is going to be so weird. look guys I am literally shook I was able to do a pretty much my everyday look and it looks good you would never be able to tell that I used food to actually apply my makeup when I first thought of this idea I thought it would be an absolute disaster so to see this look come together I'm actually like shook like why have I been using makeup brushes this whole time <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm just kidding I feel like this is Something that's quite fun to do, but as long as you're not wasting tons and tons of food, because obviously that's bad, so I would never want to do that. Um, but yeah, it's just so funny how this is like the look that I created with food. I would love for you guys to let me know down below what you thought of this like challenge. This would be really awesome if this became a challenge, and I would love to see your recreations if you did decide to do this like with your friends just as, as like a fun thing to do one night, I don't know. So that is all for this video. I had so much fun filming this. Please don't take this video too seriously. I just thought I'd do like a challenge video every now and again. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below. And also don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you here. Come and join the dinosaur family. But that is all from me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.